Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. We finally got the Dell EMC PowerEdge MX7000, Dell's replacement for the M1000 enclosure. This is a 7U chassis with support for up to eight single width server sleds, four double width sleds, or a combination of the two. If you will recall, the M1000E blade server chassis is a 10U behemoth released in 2012, but the MX7000, even at 7U, offers better performance and capabilities in a smaller space. It's also designed to support up to three new CPU generations for both AMD and Intel, but so far only Intel Xeon scalable processors are supported. It's a cost-effective, flexible architecture that's easy to scale out, offering on-demand allocation of compute, storage, and networking pools. Let's take a look. Yes, this review of the Dell MX7000 enclosure is a little late in coming, but it's not like we qualify for review units from Dell. And I have tried. Oh, oh yes, I've tried. Modular systems are not new to Dell, as there are a few others still in the fold, although admittedly a little long in the tooth, like the VRTX Tower and the 2U FX2 and FX2S platforms, plus the previously mentioned M1000E. The MX7000, at only 7U, takes up a bit less space than the M1000E and doesn't support as many blades. That said, technology has a way of making something better occupy a smaller area of space, and the MX7000 does just that. Let's flip the camera and check it out. Here are some direct comparisons between the two enclosures, the old M1000E and the MX7000. As you can see, some similarities, like the same number of I.O. modules, same number of power units and power draw, but that's about it. One of the main differences on the MX7000 enclosure compared to the M1000E is no mid-plane. That was also one of the limiting factors on the M1000E. Instead, the server nodes on the MX7000 connect directly to the I.O. and storage modules for what Dell calls a kinetic infrastructure for the modern software-defined data center. In other words, quick and agile scaling of resources. This means no replacing the mid-plane board when new technologies become available. By the way, visit IT Creations to save up to $500 off an MX7000 that's either listed on our site or one that you can configure valued at $5,000 or more. Just mention this video at time of purchase. Yes, it's almost like we're paying you to watch these videos. I mean, you're getting something out of this, right? Let's not dwell on that thought, but if you are, then hit that subscribe button. We need it. Taking a look at the front of the system, there are six hot swappable platinum rated 3000 watt PSUs across the bottom. Above those, a central bank of four 60 millimeter fans vertically aligned that separated the server nodes into two groups with bilateral symmetry. You can load eight single width chassis, four double width chassis, or a combination of the two. There's even talk of a half height module in the future, so perhaps up to 16 of those. There are currently only four modules supported on this system. Two single width compute modules, the six bay dual socket MX740C with support for Intel Xeon scalable processors from Gen 1 and Gen 2. The MX750C, also six bays, but with support for third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. Next, a double width quad socket server sled, the eight bay MX840C with support for first and second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. Both the MX740C and MX750C can provide almost eight terabytes of memory at capacity while the MX840C can deliver a little over 15 terabytes of memory. All can be outfitted with persistent memory modules, but only the MX840C and MX740C can host non-volatile DIMMs, and only with the first generation Intel Xeon scalable CPUs. NV DIMMs will reduce the number of available bays because the additional battery required to protect the DIMMs during a power loss. Lastly, there's a single width MX5016S storage module supporting up to 16 hot swap 2.5 inch SAS drives. You can install one to seven MX5016S storage modules for up to 112 drives, but you will need at least one of the compute modules. Serve the Home and Storage Review also have done reviews on this system when it came out, and I added a few links below. Control panels are mounted in both the left and right server ears of the Dell MX7000 blade chassis. The left server ear has three configurations. LCD panel with quick sync and an LCD panel with no quick sync. The last would be the one we have on this system. On a side note, quick sync does have to be ordered at time of purchase, and we can do that at itcreations.com. We are a partner with Dell after all. Both of those control panels have LEDs with a system ID button LED indicator, an options button for network settings and system information. Next, the optional quick sync indicator, then a system alerts indicator followed by an LCD activation button and the quick sync wireless status indicator. There's also one with just the LED indicators showing system health, system temperature, IO module health, fan health, 
stacker group, and LED status bar, and a system ID button. QuickSync is a nice feature for ad chassis management of the system using an iOS or Android smartphone or tablet. The right server ear control panel is a little simpler and offers a power on button, two USB 2.0 ports, and a mini display port, plus a management port squeezed in between. I've already reviewed two of the server nodes for the MX7000, the Dell EMC PowerEdge MX740C and the Dell EMC PowerEdge MX840C, and I place links in the description below for those reviews and a link to IT Creations, if you're interested in pricing, that is. Dell added the PowerEdge MX750C to the mix about a week after Intel's announcement of the third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors in March of 2021. Third gen Xeon scalable processors offer eight to 40 physical cores and 16 to 80 virtual threads a significant boost from the 28 cores available on the first and second generation Xeon scalable processors. They also support faster and more memory with eight memory channels instead of six, plus PCI 4.0 for improved performance with IO and NVMe storage devices. I will mention that there is a configurable TDP limit of 270 watts on these CPUs. Keep in mind, you only get that top core count using the Platinum processors. The larger socket design is also incompatible with the first and second generation CPUs. The MX750C does support up to six hot plug SAS, SATA, or NVMe storage devices at up to 7.68 terabytes each. NVMe drives can be plugged directly into the system board with three PCI Gen 4 x 8 connectors and two drives each. A dedicated PCI 4.0 by 16 socket for a PowerEdge RAID controller is available for support of SAS or just more control over a SATA implementation. You can install up to 7.68 terabytes and 32 DIMM slots of memory using 16 200 series persistent memory modules, or PMEM, paired with 16 R DIMMs at full capacity, or up to two terabytes with just R DIMMs, or four terabytes of capacity with LR DIMMs. Memory speed is dependent on the CPU tier, with gold and platinum providing 3200 megatransfers per second, while silver will only get you up to 2666 megatransfers per second. Aside from large performance gains as a result of the third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors, this platform has a remarkably similar layout to the MX740C. I mean, if it ain't broke. It also supports a dedicated slot for a boot optimized subsystem, or BOSS, with dual M.2 drives or dual SD card module, DSDCM, but not both. That would be physically impossible since they occupy the same space. There are a variety of PowerEdge RAID controller options for the compute modules, including the S140 or the S150, a software RAID option that's built in. A few of those controllers are designed for the MX750C PCI 4.0 interface. There are quite a few options for support of both local and external drives. A mini mezzanine connector plugs into the storage fabric C module for a seamless SAS fabric connection without any cables. Let's look at the back of the MX7000 chassis and see how it all connects. Everything on the back of the system is horizontally aligned, while everything on the front of the system is vertically aligned. That allows for the compute or storage module to straddle multiple I.O. and management modules in an orthogonal or right angle fashion. The MX740C, MX750C, and MX840C can host three fabrics through the I.O. modules in the back with two pairs of module for redundancy. Assuming you go with full redundancy, you can have two fabric A modules, two fabric B modules, and two fabric C modules. The management modules are also redundant, and you can go with two of those as well. There are several options for the A and B fabric modules offering different ports and connection speeds. Fabrics A and B are the main I.O. systems of the MX7000 chassis. Each of those modules can connect to all eight compute sleds by connecting through the mezzanine cards. The Dell EMC PowerEdge MX5016S storage sled, which connects through Fabric C, can be outfitted with up to 16 SAS storage devices connected at 12 gigabits per second through an MX5000X Fabric C module. The MX5000S is a redundant hot swappable switch solution that plugs in at the back of the chassis and can be connected to several compute sleds and MX5016 storage sleds, both in this chassis and remotely in other chassis. IO mezzanine cards at the rear of the compute sleds have dual ports for redundancy connecting to IO fabrics A and B. Of course, on the MX750C, you have a PCI 4.0 bus for twice the speed of PCI 3.0. A third PCI slot hosts a mini mezzanine slot with two by four PCI paths for connecting to each of the two storage fabric C IO modules. The IO fabric modules can be configured for different network connection speeds using different modules. Same for the pair of storage specific bays for fabric C. The MX5016S storage sled uses fabric C to communicate directly with the IO modules. Drives in the storage sled can use drive assign mode, which connects to only a single compute sled and can be assigned to any disk quantity or disk order. Alternatively, enclosure assign mode maps an entire storage sled to a compute sled. 
The lack of a backplane means to support future technologies, all that will be required is to replace the I.O. module for fabric A, B, or C, and replace the I.O. mezzanine cards in the sleds, if necessary. The service sleds, on the other hand, do still have storage backplanes for the upfront drives, and there are also a few of those depending on your storage requirements for the specific compute sled. The MX-7000 offers embedded agile management of all components. Two redundant MX-9002M management modules support the embedded management solution, the Dell OpenManage Enterprise Modular Edition, or OME. I will mention that at the compute sled level, each is equipped with the integrated Dell Remote Access Controller, or iDRAC 9.0 modules, that connect to the MX9002M management modules for comprehensive coverage of individual, multiple servers, and multiple chassis. QuickSync 2, which uses the OpenManage mobile app, also provides options for at chassis management of the system. The Dell EMC MX7000 blade enclosure is a worthy addition to data centers, cloud, and enterprise businesses offering a highly adaptable and composable architecture that can quickly scale and be reconfigured to meet current demand and demand into the future. With support for the next three generations of processors from Intel, and one would hope that would include AMD Epic processors soon, this platform will easily provide that return on investment. Upfront costs may be high, but if you have a large business, it's worth the expenditure. Hit that like button if you liked our review and would like to see more of the latest servers coming out. Subscribe. IT Creations carries this enclosure and we have the blades to outfit it. So check out itcreations.com using one of the links in the description or one of those links right there. Until next time, I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.